Hello everybody and welcome back to Coral Island. Wow, it's been a while since I've recorded this. Um, I was recording it as if I was going to put up two a day. And then I went down to two uh, a week. <laughs> Reason being, we're at a point in this game where I've done a lot of stuff. I do still have a lot of stuff to do. But the devs are about to add a lot of stuff. So we're waiting. Um, we're just going to slow the series right down ready for the 1.1 patch which will add a lot of the things that will make it feel more complete uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff added this year but i feel like probably just waiting for that 1.1 patch would be a good thing apparently it's going to add a lot of romance options so we're going to kind of slightly stall what we're doing with Raphael as well and focus more on the collecting and foraging at the moment so let's have a little look at our fish forecast today and just double check because i haven't played in a while if there's anything showing up today that I might be able to grab. Nope. Nope. I have not yet grabbed a green sawfish or a cod, which are both going to be showing up this afternoon and evening at the... Is it the estuary? At the estuary. And a hammerhead shark is going to be showing up in the evening at the lighthouse. Right, okay. We'll definitely be going down there later then. I was considering trying to go and get another silver arowana for the... Um, for the... Uh, blah, 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 for the museum today, but maybe not. Right, insect-wise, let's see. Nothing. It's clearly raining outside, isn't it? You can tell just by the insects. So it's 100% a fishing day today then. Also, why is... Why is this in... One second, though. Why are you not in full screen? Can we at least have borderless? Thank you. Yes. Wonderful. How very odd. Sorry about that. I don't know what was going on with that today. So, uh, yeah. Let's head out. And um, we're going to be going to the estuary first, trying to get a cod and a sawfish. And then we'll see if we can get that hammerhead. I do, thankfully, have an Osmium fishing pole, so I've got the best chance I can of getting that sorted out. Uh, in the meantime, I guess I should go and see my animals quickly this morning. I don't think there's much going on in the way of like planting at the moment because we are in the middle of winter. And uh, most of the things that I want to buy at this point are going to be, uh, I think, lab upgrades. I'm trying to remember if there was something else. I'm, I've got this feeling there was. Like lab upgrades and making the place look nice, really, isn't it? Pretty much. I kind of do like how it looks already. I mean, I really probably should finish this path off, for example, and do lots and lots of little bits and pieces. Um, I haven't even checked on the... As you can tell I haven't played in ages. I haven't even checked on my cows. And my barn animals, have I? Or like, did I even put any feed down for those guys? No. <sighs> Typical sheila. have no hay help. Oh. I don't have any hay. Did I... Oh, I do. I do, I do, I do. Phew. I'm worried then. Alright. playing wildflowers a lot lately and uh, don't need to use any like shears or anything like that and that it, it, it automatically finds the right tool for you and everything it basically plays the game for you compared to this one so bear with me as I reacclimatize well that, that's great Noel but can we have some milk thank you I 
I'm not sure about uh, my little Lima guy. I think he's going to eventually give me a coffee bean. And once I can get a large coffee bean, that's going to be quite good. Uh, but in the meantime, Lolly, you need to be... You need to be happier. Uh, the hay is already at max, so we can't do much about that. I think I think I might want to be upgrading the, the saplings and seedlings and things like that. And also trying to get cooking recipes. A lot of them I have to try and do by trial and error, though, and that's kind of annoying. Right then. I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to put on my... Hmm, llama wool, I'm guessing. Make some llama cloth. And then I'll put the sheep wool away and we can make sheep cloth tomorrow because we won't have llama wool tomorrow. I think that's usually the way we go about these things. And I've only got one milk today, so that will be turning into a cheese wheel. I think it's added itself there. I've got two goat cheese wheels of osmium quality. But it looks to me like the aging barrels are already full and working on stuff. I will try and make some more of those later. But not right now. Uh, I've got two duck eggs and two quail eggs, which means that today's... Uh, no, hang on. We've got three mayonnaise makers now, haven't we? Yes, we do. So one mayonnaise maker will give me the chickens. The next one will give me the quail. And then the next one will give me the duck. So that's going to be enough for me to basically do this every day. Fabulous. Okay. And we can make a little bit of money. At the same time. Great stuff. Okay, so what I'm thinking of doing as well is um, just like constantly having pickles going through when I get automatic doofers. Uh, we're going to be doing automatic chests that will pull, put things in and pull things out. And then I won't even need to worry about the mason jars. Kind of can't wait for that a little bit. We've got 83 grand in the bank, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm waiting for for those automatic chests. I might need to go and have a quick look and just refresh my memory on that one. Um, batteries will probably be part of it, but batteries are something that I am kind of going to be drowning in pretty soon. It's not too bad, actually. There we are. Make a little bit of money from the animal goods. And like I say, I'm not going to worry too much about anything else. The low-value pickles and things... I'm wondering whether I should be spending my time on those or not because my time is kind of precious right so I think I need to be kind of heading over to get those fish that I don't have to start looking out for them mm, is my inventory empty enough for them though let's check I think absolutely sure I've got room oh yeah that's absolutely perfect that's fine so if we run around to the estuary Lots of those guys have got them already, though. So I believe fishing from here or fishing from up here is quite good. Or maybe just from here downwards might be actually even better. So I believe this is the estuary area. We're waiting for four o'clock to come. Uh, no, or are we even? I think we can look for cod from 12 onwards, so we may as well just hook a few fish and see what we get. And just keep going until we've got the green sawfish. And then go and have a look for the hammerhead. Okay, well that was a bit of a wiggler, so maybe it's something good, you never know. It's a salmon, that kind of sucks. No, that's not what we want. So I'm really hoping for a sawfish, although it's good because it gives me a chance to sort of remember how to fish. Which is 
always cool. Giant mud skipper. We were looking for those for a while, but that's not what we're looking for now. a slightly different oh oh I bet that was something good rats I really wasn't expecting that to be quite as tough as it was quite as quite as wiggly been a long time since I've snapped a line. I feel a bit embarrassed about that. And again, like I said, it's been a long time since I've played. It's been a little while. So we're at four o'clock now, which means that green sawfish are a chance. Of course, I'm going to find everything else because I'm worried about moving over to get the hammerhead shot. Wow, you're a one, aren't you? That's the sawfish straight away. Okay. I actually think now I'm going to not worry too much about the cod at the moment. I'm going to move straight over to see if I can get the shark. We at least got one of the three today. I'm really hoping for more snowy days because there's just too much stuff to catch, isn't there? favorite fish yay love a mackerel that doesn't look like a shark it's a box fish I can keep going for this sh uh, hammerhead until 2 a.m. Trash or a coffer. I wonder how difficult the sharks are to catch. certainly give me a little run around. Hey hey! <laughs> nice. So now I really quickly got those. Um, <sighs> rats. I've forgotten where exactly I can get the cod. I think it is only in the estuary, isn't it? But is it only up until a certain time of night? Let me just very quickly go back to the farm and make sure I know what I'm doing and whether it's actually worth trying for it. So I'll just really quickly nip back in and check the computer. Okay, so cod was estuary, um, estuary till two in the morning. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can. I can totally get that. Nice, nice. Right then. So if I fish at the estuary till two in the morning, there is a chance I will get the cod as well. So we get all three of the fish that I was waiting for. Or, you know, I could just try and catch the 
travel stone. Yeah, we could do that too. But I would rather be fishing in the right place at the right time, knowing what I'm doing. Who are you guys? Little beetles. Brown beetles, of course you are. So all I ever catch is ground beetles. I think I've caught all the insects for winter anyway, unless there's like one really odd one that comes up on a real certain day or something, which I will still check for. I think this is a sawfish again. Just from their weird spinny habits. I don't think I would catch this very easily with uh, any other kind of rod. I might just about be able to do it with a gold rod, but I definitely think having the Ulsmium one was a very worthwhile endeavor. Is my bug net still silver? I think it might be. All I'm going to catch here will be sawfish now. You watch. There'll be no cod for me. In theory, they are here. So I will keep trying and see what I get. I mean, I can always sell all the other ones. But yeah, that's my first shark, which is amazing. The only two that I think won't show up on the computer at all, and I need to be very aware of, will be the silver arowana, which I plan to get the next time I have like a dry day, a day when I don't need to get anything else. We'll pop into the mines and we'll have a little day of just catching that for the museum. Um, and then also the red one, which comes in the fall. So the red king arowana comes in the fall. Between two dates, when it's raining, and it's kind of crazy to catch so I will try my best for that one um, but it, it might be that I can't catch it for years and years and years <laughs> if I get the wrong weather conditions that's going to be an issue but the cod does not seem to want to come out to play today eh? that's another salmon it definitely said estuary till two till two a.m. So I can keep trying. Even if I pass out, I don't really care if I manage to catch it. It's cool. Is this another salmon? Another frogfish? Yeah, I know it's getting late, but. I want to try at least one more time to see if I can get a cod. Although sadly, I think the time that I spent getting the... Uh... Alright then. I think we're done. Um, the time I spent getting the other stuff... Kind of... Meant I didn't get that, but it, it's okay. It's probably e a lot easier to get the the cod than it is the hammerhead and stuff, right? I had luck that day with the sawfish and things. So yeah, going ahead to bed and then in the morning we'll head out. Well, provided it's not raining again, we'll head over to the museum and we'll quickly uh, put those things in. So, And I think we'll actually make some money because I did actually remember to put some things in the cell box today, which is always nice. Only 4,000s worth though, just the mayonnaises and the cheese wheels. Um, so not a huge amount of money, but not awful. Okay, so this morning, let's head over to the museum and put our two new catches in. And it'll be the first of three different sharks that I can get. Um, I don't remember when the other ones come up, but uh, I did, I wrote it down. Um, I wrote down all the ones that I had remaining and I can actually now cross a couple of them off my little list that I've got of my remaining fish to get. That's always nice, isn't it? Being able to cross something off a list. Uh, let's hand them in first though. Let's not, let's not jinx it. Oh, 
All right, donate item. Hammerhead shark. And green sawfish. Wonderful. Back out we go. And let's go back to the farm and check the computer and see if a cod is available today. It looks like it's just a kind of... Well, it is a bit of a rainy day, isn't it? It's a bit snowy rainy. So maybe it is a day where we can try and catch cod again. If it is, that would be fantastic. Let me just check. But handing them in first does, means that we don't confuse the issue by having things that are already in the inventory and not showing up as caught already. So... Oh, see, no hammerheads today. Oh, no, they'd be at the lighthouse, wouldn't they? Cod is available from uh, 4 o'clock onwards at the estuary again. So I can just keep on trying. So we caught loads of giant mudskipper, loads of frogfish, loads of salmon. They're probably the common fish you get. We got a sockeye salmon as well. Didn't get any red snapper yesterday. But the sad thing is, whenever cod is available, all of these other fish are also available. So it's going to just be a case of chance, really. And then the hammerhead is still available um, in the morning and the evening at the lighthouse again. So, okay, wonderful. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Took a bit of a hit on the st the old stamina from, <laughs> but my stamina is decent nowadays. Um, someone also said one thing I'll try and do once I've sort of had a go at getting the fish I need. If I have a day where there's no fish, I'll go and get the silver silver arowana, like I said. But I'll also um, head under the ocean. We'll try and get some ocean creatures, and we'll also see if any of those ocean dudes talk to me now. I've got a tail on because people were saying that they might. I don't know whether it's just that they haven't added them in yet and that they'll come in with the patch or something like that but I could definitely give it a go talking to some of those with the mermaid tail on and see if I understand them now I would have thought the time to understand them would have been when my suit got put on so not really sure on that one uh, not sure exactly what I think I'm going to be catching at 7.40 in the morning though why am I down here for? Silly she lab. All right, so <laughs> how about I actually do my chores for the morning? Oh, look, we have some, what are these? Almonds or something? Walnuts? Almonds. We have almonds today. Yay. One golden egg, and I really do need to give these guys some food. So where's my hay gone? So like I say, the only one I really need to pet at the moment, um, I'm kind of petting them based on what I need rather than being like, I'll pet you even though you've got 10 hearts with me. Um, the, the hay actually really does help them quite significantly. So you'll see that a lot of them have been going up in, see, even these guys are on three hearts. I barely ever pet them. They just enjoy eating their good hay, to be honest with you. So <laughs> I think, I think we're okay. But you, Lolly, will need a little pet because what I'm trying to do with Lolly at the moment is to get a large geisha coffee bean. I don't think that I will probably be able to get that until spring. I've got a a, a very sneaking suspicion that uh, until they can go foraging and get let outside that they're going to struggle. So I think that might just be a bit of a spring thing. I don't know whether I could maybe do something with heaters to try and let them be allowed outside or something along those lines. Not really sure. But I'm happy just to wait for that because um, I'm not going to be able to do some of the other goddess things like the gator gar until later anyway. So yeah. Gatorgar will be the last part of the uh, spring altar. Very easy catch. That we can very easily do, in the, hopefully anyway, in the spring. 
basically you can catch um i was catching the golden gar quite easily uh the gator gar is basically caught on the bridge outside my farm i just never have before and i've never had the the correct um why won't those come off that cheese press oh my inventory's full of course okay stupid inventory it's full of fish that's why <laughs> Um, okay, I will I will head out and just not worry about that too much. Or, no, what I could do... <laughs> so disorganised in my head right now. I need to put the... If I just put the eggs in, then I'd have plenty of room. And the milk for the cheese. And I got two goats milk today, which is quite nice. And we also got two llama wools, which means that then I can put on. Okay, we'll follow up. Again. Do you know what? Don't worry about it. We're just gonna head out and sell everything. Because I still want to make sure I've got time to go and catch that cod. And then tomorrow we're gonna be getting the silver arowana. I haven't even been to see anybody this episode either. title of this episode catching my first shark i think i can sell all of them can't i because like you know pretty sure all of them have been in that's a lot of fish i caught you catch them so much faster with that bigger fishing rod that it actually actually is quite good oh, we'll have more almonds won't we that'll be fine okay let's go fishing for the cod if I could get the cod, then I think I've gotten like most of the winter fish. I will check daily though. Like I say, sometimes things turn up over time. Um, oh no, that wasn't where I wanted to go at all. Not even slightly where I wanted to go. But what I do need to do, and what I was thinking in my brain, is I need to check. I've still got four hours to go. Like. I don't think I can catch it from 12, can I? Oh well. Let's just keep catching things in here. Maybe it'll, maybe our luck will come. Maybe our luck will come through. We've only been trying to do this for like half an hour so far. And it's, we've still got like probably an hour in the episode. So, you know, we've got time. I just don't always get rainy days. And sometimes you get them together with each other. This might be like a salmon or a sockeye. Oh, frogfish, okay. Yeah, they're a bit of a harder catch, aren't they? Once I've caught the cod, I'll go and just double check all of the different areas. Just make sure that I've gotten what I need to get. Then we need to be going, doing things like going to the dig site every day as well. Um, which I've not been doing lately. But I do need to do. I'm all very aware of this. But if there's a particular like shark or fish or something that's really, really important to get on a certain day, then I'm going to spend my time doing that, obviously, rather than digging at the dig site. But I am aware that I'm like, if I want to get my red barrel, for example, I need to be working harder on that. So... I will just keep fishing here until 2 a.m. or 12 o'clock or whatever it is. And maybe a cod will come my way. It's an interesting pattern on that one. You, what are you, frogfish? Sockeye, okay. Sockeye salmon. It always sound like you, I always think you should say that in like a Texan accent or something. I don't know why. Just feels right. That is total trash. I think the cod might not show up till four o'clock anyway, but I can always just sell these fish. It's important to be in the right place at the right time. Come on. 
come on you. You know you want to just jump on my line right now. You want to be my friend. Sockeye like salmon sell for any okay price anyway, don't they? I really do want to like spend some time going to the lab and checking out like the things I can get there and what I need to to get to <sighs> so automate. I really want to like start automating things and I've got lots of money in the bank, but I just don't have a chance to get there because I'm constantly looking for cod. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for it all autumn as well. Ugh. This fish is a nightmare. Almost as bad as that Asian sheep head thing. Come on, be a cod. This is where it, it turns out that this is like slightly the wrong place or something. But all the other fish that are supposed to be here are here. So I'm imagining that the cod is just a little bit rare. In some way, shape or form. Gotcha! Right, now I don't need to worry about things all the time. Let's go straight to the museum with that guy. It was just a case of, of doing it enough times, really, wasn't it? Bit of probability in the, run, in the running there. So we have managed to get cod, shark. Hey, Eleanor. Uh, donate I. Damn. Cod. 246. We'll get a present when we donate four more things. Yay! So there's still going to be a few fish outstanding, but fish I'm pretty, I'm pretty good for, actually. I'm starting to be anyway. If we look in my journal, you can see where I'm at with it. So here's the catchers. You can see that a lot of the fish are already caught. There's another two sharks to get. There's some kind of jellyfish thing. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, like six more other than that. Then insect wise, we've got one, two, three, four, five more insects to get. Sea critters, we've got quite a lot. Um, so sea critters are probably the ones to now really start to focus on if I have now finished with all of the uh, other sort of critters. Looks like the the festival is uh, the decorations are getting better and better and better all the time for that, which is wonderful. I like the bridge; it's cute. That one particularly, I like that one because it's classy. It's a classy decorated bridge. Um, right, let's have a look on the computer quickly and just check that everything that I have gotten now. I still haven't made a, an Osmium bug net either, have I? Right, so let's have a look. Fish forecast. Make sure that I have caught every fish that's available today. So I feel like... I feel like I have. Yeah. Make sure there's nothing odd turning up on the dock, for example. Temple Lake, Town River, Forest River. No, so we've, we've got everything. Now, I think the only thing we need is a silver arowana, and I can say I will... It's probably one of the next things I will try and find. Insect-wise, I imagine today is a terrible day for catching insects anyway because it is a rainy day and they all go and hide when it rains. Insects seem to like a sunny day. Well, it's always worth a look. So, 
Um, forageables, fish. Oh yeah, here we are, diving. Right, so here we are. So forageables and diving. Forageable, diving. Oh, here we are. So, yeah, they must all count as insects then, right? So we're making, we're waiting at the moment for nighttime, a tiger tail seahorse and a blue lobster, a mantis shrimp, a white spotted jellyfish. We've got everything there. And we've got everything there except for a pink meanie jellyfish, which is found in the day. So I feel like going down to the bronze level and trying to find the blue lobster and the tiger tail seahorse would probably be my best bet if I want to do something like that while it's evening time, which I think I might. So blue lobster and tiger tail seahorse. But before I do that, let's just uh, chuck all the fish away. So I've got room. Chuck batteries in there, that'll do. Right, okay. Let's see if I can see any seahorses or any lobsters. I'm not going to be too worried about cleaning up trash at the moment. I'm also not going to be too worried about... Oh, there's a seahorse. Okay. That's a giraffe seahorse. I think we were looking for a tiger tail seahorse. Or a blue lobster. I'm almost certain I've caught blue lobsters before. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about what happened there. I'm glad that wasn't something I desperately needed, huh? i keep my eyes out. But I don't think things under the sea are as seasonal. to worry quite as much that uh, we're going to miss it when the season turns but maybe we will I don't know hi can I chat to you you don't understand what's being said so there you go I still don't understand even with a mermaid tail on apparently I still know nothing Jon Snow Thorns starfish, which I am certain I have already found before. Let's go this way a bit. Might take a few days of like diving in different areas to try and get the right stuff. You might be the one I need. Oh, don't get blinking stuck on a. What is going on there? Hedgehog seahorse, are you kidding me? Like, I need like a tiger tail one. I'm getting all excited to think it's the white seahorse and it's not. That's another hedgehog one, isn't it? Yeah. There's all the good seahorse and the blue lobsters. Come on, I was promised this. <laughs> I was promised a blue lobster and a tiger tail seahorse. They're all hedgehog ones today. Maybe they're quite rare though. I don't know. 
Let's start running around, like, cleaning the place up a bit, though, because it's really disgusting down here. Probably won't find things as fast, though, if I... If I do that, but then if it's clear, then when I come down tomorrow and it's all a lot neater, it might be easier to find things. So it's a bit of a... Catch-22 really, isn't it? Right, I'm going to pull the anchor down here. Um, the anchor goes now wherever I want it to go because... There's no reason for me to have to like worry about it at this point. So we didn't find anything under the sea, sadly. It's probably all, like I say, all the rarest stuff that <laughs> is left now. Ah, uh, sad times. So maybe I will actually be a bit sociable tomorrow. <laughs> Don't know. I should probably what I should probably do actually in the morning is line up together okay the amount of stuff that i can see that's missing on the sea floor versus how much is wow okay that was a huge thing um llama yarn quail mayonnaises that kind of added up my fishing Wow, the green sawfish goes for one and a half grand. Almost sad to have uh, donated it to the museum at that point. But yeah, we've got some really good fish. Sockeye salmons go for an okay amount if you get three of them. <laughs> like, it does add up, doesn't it? 68 from catching and various other things. A little bit from farming, because my art. What? I got 600 just from almonds off the almond tree? Okay, some of this is crazy. Right then. Let's take another look at the fish today. So uh, we'll have a look at the insects first then. Nothing, nothing. Oh, is it raining again? I think it might be raining again, you know that. We are not seeing many bugs at all today. Forageables. See where they all might be, but there's nothing particularly like super interesting. Oh, unless it tells me what beach, what things might be on the beach. So, and I'm missing one forageable from the beach. Is it the, is it the Sun Ray Venus shell? I'm just on the off chance. Um, because I might want to start going collecting shells if they're, if I'm just missing one. So let's see. Produ no, it's not produce, is it? It's caught, found, scavenger balls. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is that one. It's that Venus shell we are missing. I'm almost certain of it. I don't think I saw it. The Sunray Venus shell. So we could have a look on the beach and see if that uh, exists down there. Uh, but before I do that, I will look through all of the fish. I'm absolutely certain there's nothing showing. Swordfish out today. Uh, no. And no. Right, that's fine. So, um, looking under the sea, okay, at the insects. How many are we missing? So, one, two, three, four, five. Right, so at the moment, there are six things that can be caught, and they don't seem to have changed that much. Um, six things that can be caught. So if I look in my journal now, and 
have a look at court things and look at secretism. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten things missing. Which says to me that this might change with the seasons a bit. So I do need to try and catch what I can, when I can, as much as I can. Or it might just be that there's certain things on rainy days and certain things on sunny days or something like that. There might be things that appear. Okay. So down to the beach to catch shells and then also we want to be insect forecast. We want to be looking for all the things we were looking for yesterday. So I want to look for a Venus flower basket somewhere around there. A mantis shrimp somewhere around in that silver bit. We found everything there. And I need to find a pink mini jellyfish in the day. There. I wonder if I could find a pink meanie. But yeah, I don't know what what changes, what suddenly shows up. <sighs> Get rid of all this rubbish. It was the. Oh, yeah. Tiger tail seahorse, right? Tiger tail. Is that right? Tiger tail and blue lobster. Okay, I'll try and find those. So much to find in this game. But I'm gonna head to the beach first and see if there's any any sign of the shell I need. I can't believe I'm missing one shell. So we've got purple cowrie, which we already have. There's a little dude crawling around. Which is totally something I already have. centipede in there <laughs> and a centipede in there wonderful and a centipede in there I remember when I was worried that I wouldn't catch a centipede now there are 4,000 million of them but it doesn't look like there's um, any more shells on the beach sadly I mean, can I still catch them on kind of this side of the beach sometimes? I don't know, because then we're at the lookout. There is a little bit of beach down here. Oh, here's a shell that looks a bit different. That's a clam. A Juno Junoia or something. Cockle. I'm pretty sure all of those are things I found already. And a flame scallop. So, no, nothing. I will also detrash the beach. Got some skanky person threw stuff all over the beach. How dare they? I'm gonna go and see what's going on in here. Nothing. Looking for cutscenes. <laughs> Sometimes I find them in there, so. It's always worth a try. Alright then, let's see if we can find a... Venus basket thing. I've never found one before, so I've got this feeling I probably won't be able to find it. Plenty of room, good. that then an upside down jellyfish that is certainly something I have seen before oh 
Oh, nice coffers. I don't get them very often anymore, other than in like the the caves now, I guess. The things live in the caves. I'm not certain on that one. I'll do a touch of cleaning while I'm down here because it helps, I think. Starfish. That's supposedly down here in the day, so. I am, however, not seeing it so far. So these things seem to be quite rare, these things that I'm not finding at all. The fact that I cleaned this whole place up and I've still not found one says to me they not, might not be the easiest thing to find. One thing that is helping, I'm a lot faster now as I am mermaid. I shouldn't now be needing any um, of this kelp though. Another starfish. anything down here are we right does that down there count I think that down there now counts as silver kelp level I think we need to be finding it well maybe down there actually I don't know I know when I see the kelp down there what it is Okay, so this is still bronze. There's still no Venus sea basket. And my inventory is totally full as well. Good stuff. Well done, Sheila. Go up along there. On that little loopy bit and see if we find anything. If we do, I can always chuck something out to make way. Once I've had a good look up here, I'm going to uh, go back to the farm and just chuck my inventory out. Something up there. Interesting looking, but hard to get to. Oh, another upside down jellyfish, really? Why do they look so interesting when they're not so interesting? Go around pretending to be Venus sea baskets, I don't know. That's another one. That one's stacked, I think. Basically, it's not coming out to play today, so yeah, like I say, I'll go back to the farm quickly and I will empty my inventory out. Is the fast travel point over here? I think it might be. I'll empty my inventory out and then we'll come back. Oh, it's not 
there. Oops, where is it? Oh, gone completely the wrong way. I had better not see a Venus star thing while I'm down here. I'll be so annoyed. is a tiny turtle. Just gonna make sure that like there's nothing inside the caves. No, so this is purely just a place for you to go, clean it up every day and get yourself coffers when you get to the part of the game where you just don't have enough stuff for your museum. That's what that seems like to me. Okay, so back to my farm. I'll go and stash some bits away. Sell some bits, stash some bits. And we're now into the evening time, so I could go and look around again and see if I can find any good stuff. Uh, that needs to be processed. The shells can be sold. The jellyfish can be sold. Keep the coffers and stuff. I have way too much salt, I don't need that. Okay, all right, I'm going to head under the sea again and we're going to start looking for seahorses and blue lobsters again. Well, you look like an interesting little seahorse. You're probably like not the right one, but let's try. Twice. It's a giraffe seahorse. Sad times. Hey, mister. You're in my spot. Oh, I'm so sorry. I do apologise for being in your spot. I've seen blue lobsters before. I'm sure I've sold them before, which is irritating. Not kind of realised that they were donatable. Giraffe one. Try my best just to look everywhere. I hope I find something, but it's just not very easy. These things are not very. I've not even seen any lobsters down here at all. I've seen these guys, these uh, starfishers. I haven't even seen lobsters. So yeah, this could take a while, this undersea stuff. So I looked all around there, didn't I? Yeah. It's hard sometimes to realise what I'm missing as well, like uh, where I've already been and where I haven't been. I'm definitely like keeping my eyes out. Is there anything I might have missed? There's only so much of the seabed I can scour each day, so it's it's going to take some time, isn't it? But I I know that there's more than I than I can see on the computer screen today, which makes me think some of these might be seasonal, which makes me even more worried about it. 
So I can do down there and I can do up here. I can't even remember where I've been at this point. Well, there is a lobster. I don't think it's blue, though. No, it's a split coloured lobster. But at least I found a lobster. I hadn't found one so far. <laughs> oh my goodness, I probably should have found these while I was down here, like, cleaning the ocean bed. Like, ugh. I am having no luck at all. I'm cleaning because I'm like, well, probably tomorrow I'll, you know, I'll be able to find more stuff if, uh, if I've cleaned up a bit. Why is it all giraffe seahorses, though? That is what I do not get. Still bronze down here. Yes, okay. Of course, it's getting late. Twelve o'clock at night. There's a seahorse over there that is probably a giraffe one, but we'll grab it anyway. Yeah, I don't get this at all. We're just not finding the things we need. Right, back we go. Maybe I'll try and find the mini jellyfish tomorrow or something. I Like with fishing, usually if you try enough, you'll catch it. But with this diving stuff, no, it just doesn't seem to be the case. Super rough. Um, there's all giraffe and hedgehogs I found. Yeah, yeah, giraffe, giraffe. Split coloured lobster. And you see, the problem with um, all of the undersea stuff and the lobsters and things is I don't think that they have mentioned on them. Oh no, they do mention whether they're donated or not. So, yeah, if I've had a blue lobster and I've sold it, it's my own fault. Okay, what day is it today? It's a Thursday, so we could definitely go and take a look at Ling's lab today. Um, so let's just check again all of the forecasts. Make absolutely certain that none of the forecasts have anything special or new on them just in case. Thought I saw something there for a second. Right, no. So insect wise, I think we have everything. All the butterflies are back out today because it's clearly a sunny day. So we have more insects on a sunny day. Right, okay. So now let's have a look at the underwater insects. So we're still looking for the pink meanie. We're still looking for nothing there. There's still nothing in the Merfolk Kingdom. We're still looking for the Venus flower basket. The tiger tail seahorse and the blue lobster there. And we're still looking for the white spotted jellyfish and the mantis shrimp there. Ugh. 
Right, for now, I'm just going to spend a bit of time on my farm. I'm going to do a little bit of the rounds. Um, I'm wondering whether to get a horse soon. Rather than just constantly doing all the same stuff. All I ever do is I visit my animals. I sell some stuff. I visit some more. I do some more stuff. <laughs> We're not getting very far progress wise, are we? At all. However, we are getting through this winter. And that's nice, I suppose. That is, that is just annoying. I can't pick anything up. It's so irritating. I think I just have to keep trying under under the sea, really, don't I? And it's just going to be one of those things. And it's going to be the same with um, coffers and, and dig site and all of that stuff, really. Maybe I should go and dig today or something like that. Do something different. Try and find a red barrel. <laughs> I don't think that's going. I don't think that's going to go any better than trying to find things under the sea. To be honest with you. Because at the moment, if you look at my town rankings, like, I've got an A there, I've got a B there, we've made loads of offerings, I'm getting there with Heritage, but the museum is still, like, sat there, like, on a C rank. It's so annoying. I would love to get the town to A. It's hard to do at the moment. I think there's um, more stuff coming in the 1.1 update that will help me get the town rank higher. But at the moment, it's a bit difficult. So I am actually going to go and dig the dig site this morning. Assuming I have like any sp oh, I've got no space, no space ever, ever, ever. I never have space, and I just want to go do things, and then I never have space. <sighs> okay, is there anything that I just don't ever need? Right, I don't ever need my watering can. So do I have that on me? No, I don't ever need uh my hoe. I don't ever need that jammy probably. I don't ever need. Right, so donatables need to go away. That helps. Building mats need to go away. That helps. Uh, maple syrup needs to get sold. Honey needs to get sold. That helps. I need to put all of my scavengeables into the bin. Not, in, not into the bin. In, uh, into the dehydrator. All of my undersea scavengeables into the dehydrator. And that will help. The wine's nearly done. I don't know how much that's going to help. I'll stick the seaweed away because I never, I never use seaweed ever. Seaweed, old kelp. Eggs. Cheeses. Milks. Put the quail egg away. We'll grab that later. Right, okay, I'll go and sell all the cheeses and stuff. Uh, I've got sashimi. I keep meaning to give that to Raphael. But it's not going to happen, is it? Because I'm just being so antisocial today. It's not even funny. All right, I think we need to either go to Lynn's lab or the uh, ranch and get a horse. I feel like I don't want to spend every day trying to get collectibles, but I feel like it's going to need to be quite a big part of things. Just it just is.
I just want to hang out with people and go to the lab and stuff. And I don't even remember how to do half of the stuff. So, um... At the moment, right, so I need Osmium, Kelp Essence, times 11. And then Gold, Kelp Essence, times 7, just to finish off this. But that's not a priority at the moment. Developing equipment. An automation chest requires 200 scrap. Oh, were we working on that? I think we might have been. <laughs> 10 batteries, 60,000 gold. We can absolutely do that. An auto petter would require 100 scrap. Large wool, kelp essence and battery. It's all the other stuff that I have to remember to get, isn't it? <laughs> auto collector might be good. 100 scrap. Undersea trash collector. I really need loads of scrap, don't I? I have been collecting it under the sea, though. So that's been kind of good. Did I decide on anything I wanted and did I actually write down what I needed? No. And no. I think it's the automated chest that I want. And so for that, I need... To remind myself, 5 osmium, bar and kelp, 10 batteries, 200 scrap. And it's kelp, not kelp essence, isn't it? I think so. Right, let's go and see how much scrap I have. So I'm kind of fed up of going under the sea and not catching the things I need. It's, it's really demoralizing when you spend day after day after day making no progress. It's really, really bad. So I want to just chill out, not worry for a minute. So I'll grab this scrap down here. I will also grab the trash that I've got saved up in here. We'll make some more scrap as well. And then when I go under the ocean, we can get more scrap too, which will be wonderful. If I'm kind of making 20 a day, then that means uh, in 10 days I'll have enough. I'm starting to remember the things I was saving up for and the things I was doing now, which is always quite nice. Okay, so that was something that I could do. But haven't done yet. I've got the osmium. I've got the osmium kelp and the osmium uh, essences if I need them. Um, I probably have the batteries. I think I have the batteries. I think I have 10 batteries. I have the money, so really it's just the scrap I need. I've also got coffers sat in the, um... And the monster chest for some reason. Shouldn't have that really, should I? It should be in donations. I've got a few geodes and things. Right, so now would be a good time to go up to the dig site and see what's up there. I chat to Scott on the way. How are you doing? Yikes, something came at me in the dark, so I ran as fast as I could. Russell Sprouts. I remember when I was really struggling to get those too. And now they just seem like easy. So one thing that I wanted to check actually was the goddess altar itself, right? I'm certain the dig site wasn't meant to open up until I'd finished the catch altar. But I haven't finished the catch altar. Doing very well for fossils in here today, are we? Guess some days are better than others. Okay, I'll take two nodes in that one. That's fine by me. else is there I 
There's no where else I've forgotten. Because there's also all of these like shrines and things that just say like, yeah, yeah, you know. You can't do anything with me yet and you think, oh yeah, I'll be able to do something with them soon. And then like it doesn't really get that much better. monkey shrines and things. Like what I mean what's that about? Why is that there? It just seems like a really incomplete area to me this. So I'm hoping that something something new and interesting happens maybe around here. I think we're done with the dig site for today. Uh, I don't really need any more like hardwood or anything like that. Everything's built or maximally upgraded pretty much. I, I don't think there's... I could build a silo maybe. I've been manually feeding for ages. So maybe a silo would be a good thing. Oh, come on, let me through. Good. That's a bit of a tricky one that. It kind of gets you a bit stuck sometimes. But I definitely feel there's like a, a tiny bit of disappointment and when some of the areas open up, it's like you can't do much with them. It's like, well, I, I, it was really hard for me to get this area unlocked. Why is there like nothing here? I felt that particularly with the area where you get the bamboo. I just felt like nothing. Um, I'm going to see about getting a horse. I'm going to need a name for it though, aren't I? We do have a stable, so why not get a horse? What are we going to call our horse now? I need to make sure I don't give like a double name again like I did last time because that was just embarrassing. They've all had names. Good little Mousy hasn't had a name yet, I don't think. So I think my horse is going to be called Mousy. Mousy the horse. I think that's a cute name for a horse, actually. Alright then. Let's go and have a little bit of fun riding the horse around. Like, we haven't done much that's been super fun. It's been all sort of like grind, grind, grind this episode, hasn't it? So it would be nice to have something that is a fun thing to do. So we now have our horsey. Can I ride you? Uh, if I get exactly the right... A little bit faster. Probably won't ride you very much, though. Um, how do we dismount? Q? No, not Q. K? Are you kidding me? What a rubbish key to use for a dismount. Wow. But okay, I guess that's what we're using. Gonna sell some of the forageables I found around the place. I don't really need them that much. And put the geodes away in the donation box. Sell the cheese. And then do I want to go under the sea again and try and see if I can find something down there? Maybe we could try something different. Maybe we could try to get that spotted blue jellyfish thing. the silver level 
Is there anything at night? No, I've got all of the night stuff from the higher levels. It's these levels that I don't have the things from. So let's try and see if we can find a white spotted jellyfish in the silver kelp la la layer. Because I've just had no luck with any of the other stuff. It's really been quite disappointing. Actually, if we're going for silver kelp layer, let's start here. Rather than going down the anchor, which is in the bronze layer at the moment. Oh, you're an interesting one. Ooh, that was, I think, possibly some sort of mantis shrimp. He's still counting his day at the moment. Because that was annoying. I think that was something I needed. And I wasn't quick enough. I may need to start... If that is the case, I may need to start putting traps down. I may need to make a load of crawler traps and come and check them daily. Wouldn't that be annoying? Because not being able to find them is one thing, but not being able to catch them is another. Or do we upgrade the net? Maybe a net upgrade is needed for some of these then. I'm almost certain that was a mantis shrimp that ran away there. I was just too slow for it. Even though technically it shouldn't be here at this time of day, which is really confusing, but maybe it was just about early enough for it. I don't know. around here a bit and see what I can find. We were, I, I mean, the thing is, I was looking for a jellyfish, so I wasn't exactly expecting some little dude crawling along the floor. Now that to me looks like a jellyfish that could be correct. Darn it. Maybe you? That's a flower hat. Ah, okay, you are not a blue-white spotted. You're a flower hat. I swear it's lying to me about the sorts of things I can find down here. But yeah, I might need to kind of like develop the seabed in a way. Come down here, put down like auto trash collectors and so that the seabed remains clear so I can scavenge things more easily and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's going back up towards the bronze layer. Is it bronze up there then? Or is it still silver? No, it's still silver, I think. Another one of these flower hat jellyfish, I think. Yeah. So we're really struggling right now with the undersea stuff. It's kind of irritating considering like some of the undersea stuff was really easy to catch. Have these few that are like a little bit annoying. It is a little bit annoying. Okay, so we've done like a bit of a loop around here. 
But we haven't really been around here, here, here. I think I'm going to head upwards. And of course it's getting too late. So yeah, yeah, really happy about that. <laughs> Herder, finding nothing under the sea. I'll head back to the farm and I will go to sleep and then I think it's going to be the end of the episode there. We did get a horse today. That was wonderful. Other than that, we got three different fish and finished off the fish for the season. Uh, with the exception of the arowana, which I will need to go and get next time. I didn't go get it this time. I got a bit obsessed with the undersea creatures. But we will need to get back to those next time as well. And then possibly that and a little bit of social. But also slowly just building up the uh, things in the lab. We are getting close to having a lot of that finished though. But it's just going to involve getting lots and lots and lots of scrap. Which might... I mean, that might go hand in hand with finding things under the sea because if I clean up the seabed, it makes it easier to find things under there. And I'm also going to find scrap at the same time while scrap is processing on my farm. I could also make a second recycler, which would probably be wise. <laughs> so there we are, 6,500. So that is the end of that episode. I was very excited to find my first shark today. That was quite interesting. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.